You should aim to have small images on your web pages so that the pages are quick to view for your site visitor. However, you may wish your visitor to see a larger photo. The solution is to make a small thumbnail preview image for your web page and then link it to a larger image which will be opened when your visitor clicks on the thumbnail. This is very easy to do. From within my file store, I'll select the checkbox of this photo and then select to make a copy of it for my thumbnail image. I'll rename the file to include a word such as small. To finish making this one, I select copy. For speed, I can simply select the original photo and then publish it like this. Now check publish again to confirm. We can see the web address here and click to see our published photo, which is on a blank page. I'll go back to the file store by clicking continue. Now I'll click to edit my copied small image and from within the photo editor I will select to change the size. Typically the small thumbnail image should be about 25%. I'll select show me to view this change and yes, it's fine so I'll accept it. Now I will select my web page and then from within the customize editor I will select where I want to insert my photo and then select to insert a new image below. I will choose to get it from my file store and if I hover over the photo I can see which is the small one. I will click on it to insert it as a thumbnail photo on my page. I shall now select the link to and then select my full size photo from the drop down menu and then accept. I shall now save and publish the page. And then click on this web address to look at the published web page. As I click on this thumbnail image, then my larger one opens up. To create a page full of small thumbnail images linked to larger images, you should use the gallery facility, which is very quick and easy to use. We have prepared some very useful articles for you about photos and other useful subjects. You can access these how-to guides from within your file store. Have fun publishing.